YouTube, what's up? It's your boy Kizzy. Welcome back to the Phasmophobia Equipment Series. In this installment, we're moving on down the list here. We're covering the EMF reader. This is a little bit more in depth, so you're going to want to strap on, bro, get your notepad out. We're going to dive in. This is the tier one EMF, all right? So before we even go in, let me explain the EMF reader, all right? So it picks up ghost activity. Okay, so if the ghost does something, your EMF reader, if it's on, it's gonna respond. This is the tier one and it's very hard to read. So I'm gonna kind of skip what I normally do with the tiers here and show you the ghost that you need EMF for. And then once we get to the tier two, where it's a little bit easier to read, I can show you and explain what EMF two, EMF three, EMF four, and EMF five mean. So first and foremost, uh, I don't even think we need to be in here, but uh, to turn it on, you just have to literally have it in your hand and mine is right click. That's my default to like use. I think that's the key bond, but this is the Geist meter. So it's gonna, the, the needle is gonna move. That doesn't mean that the ghost is doing anything. It's just moving because the power is on, on the meter, but I'm going to try to at least get some sort of ghost activity so that you can see it in action. Um, but you can either set it in the ghost room or you can have it in your hand. But you see how it's going up right now? This backs up what I was just talking about. It's very hard to read. So right now, I don't know if this is EMF3, EMF2, or EMF4, because it's jumping around like crazy. So tier one, essentially level up to get the tier two as fast as you can, because it's just horrible. But the problem is, is you're gonna be stuck with the tier one for, for quite some time, because I can't remember what level you unlock the tier two. But nonetheless, here are all the ghosts that you need EMF level five evidence for. You've got Spirit, Wraith, Jin, Shade, Oni, Goryo, Twins, Obake, Raiju, and Myling. And unlike in the Dots episode where there was uh, the issue with the Goryo Dots where it didn't give you just like straightforward dots, you had to use the camera. With the EMF, there's no caveat, right? It's just, if the ghost says EMF five evidence, it will eventually give you EMF level five. All right, so we are here with the uh, tier two EMF and this bad boy is a hell of a lot better. Let me get a little bit closer here, but it's a heck of a lot better than the tier one for sure. And before they changed the equipment way back in the day, this was actually the EMF that you started with. It was actually just white. I really want to set this on the table so I can explain this to you guys. Well, that didn't work. Okay. Um, and now it's stuck. So, uh, we might have to reset. Oh, we're good. Okay. So I'll just hold it so I can like explain to you guys. All right, so there's five levels of EMF, okay? With the tier two, level one just means that the power is on. Whereas tier two, EMF level two, excuse me, means that there is an interaction. So that means if the ghost touches a door, if it touches a light switch, if it touches a phone, anything that can be touched, not picked up and thrown, we'll get to that in just a second, but anything that can be touched, like a window knock or, um, like, like I said, the phone ringing or the phone vibrating, the keyboard or the TV turning on. So those are interactions, okay? Then you have EMF level three, which is something being thrown. So I don't know if you heard it a second ago, but it threw something, I believe, in here. But because that was some time ago, can you give me a sign? I don't think it's gonna. Oh, okay. So perfect, we just heard a door. Oh, it was that that was thrown. But you see the door has been opened and we're at EMF level two, but a throw indicates a level three. Level four is when a ghost event happens. So if the ghost appears and sings to you or like appears, breaks the lights, if it appears and walks to you, or if it does an airball ghost event, you will have an EMF level four. And then obviously EMF level five is just EMF level five evidence. That's, that's literally it. There's nothing like, if this ghost on this contract right now has EMF level five evidence, it just touched the door and it's got EMF level five. Any sort of interaction or throwing on an EMF level five ghost has the pers the potential or the possibility to give you EMF level five evidence. So don't, don't get it twisted just because it touched the door and it's EMF level two, don't count out EMF level five unless you get the other three evidence you, you, you need for that ghost, right? All right, so this right here is, uh, the the best of the best the tier three emf why because there's multiple facets as to why it's the best because first of all it's a big ass display screen you gotta have you got a freaking tablet in your hand all right secondly there is no emf level one with with the tier three like if it's on it's just gonna display but if you look very closely 
you can see that you can get up to three readings at one time. And then let's just see if the ghost can do something here. All right, so we just walked around the house for like 20 minutes and the ghost didn't do a single thing. So it's probably a shade, but I can use the Ouija board here to show you what I'm talking about. All right, so let's just, uh, let's just ask it a question. How many people are in this room? Okay. So you see how we're getting EMF level two because this was an interaction. So the ghost interacted with the board, hence why we're getting the level two. But then with the tier three, it shows you the distance and the direction of that um, of that interaction. So like if it touches a door, this is why it's super crucial to have the, e the, the tier three. Because if you walk in and you hear a door, like we just heard, we can walk around and get close to that uh, interaction. And the EMF reader will tell us what exactly just happened and as you can see we got a door touch right here so yeah that's uh that's the tier three emf man it's it's in my opinion of the emf readers it's the best of the best tier two second best obviously tier one if you got it you need to level up as fast as you can to get the tier two emf because you're going to be struggling with with the tier one emf i i struggle a lot reading it because it it doesn't it's not static it constantly moves so if you want to know how to level up really fast watch this video right here to uh level up really fast to get the tier two emf or if you want to keep going and watch the next portion on this equipment series you can click this playlist somewhere up here and I'll watch the next video and I'll see you in one of those two videos, okay? Catch you next time.